Man, growing up, some of my most favorite kind of games to play were fighting games. Those were the best. Playing against family and friends, and winning, especially. From Street Fighter, to Tekken, to Mortal Kombat, to Marvel vs. DC. But then, DC came out with one of their own called Injustice, Gods Among Us, which was totally different than any other fighting game because this one actually had a great story worth telling. Heroes colliding, friendships broken, and the world not only changed, but damaged. I love this alternate universe, the, the games as well as the tie-in comics, but one thing I didn't expect was a movie. That's right, because DC and WB have nothing better to do, like continue the Snyderverse, they made an animated movie based on the video game Injustice. Good lord. I literally just saw this last night, and I gotta be honest, this sucked. This movie failed so hard, and it doesn't even make sense to me why it does. First off, let me just say this. I don't even get why they made this movie. This wasn't necessary. Like, we all know the Injustice story. We all know the story. <laughs> now run along, so I can break out of here. I've got lots of planning to do to top this. That's enough. read all the tie-in comics and stuff like that. Anyone who's played the games knows the story. I don't understand, but it's like we saw that. I don't understand what the point of making that into a cartoon animated adaptation. I, I don't get what the point of that was. And then, number two, if you're going to do that, if you're going to make a cartoon movie of this, why not have the same voice actors that you use in all the video games? Because, I mean, honestly, these voice actors sucked. The character designs weren't all that great either. But the voice acting especially was bad. Number three, if you make an animated movie based on a video game series, why would you change things up dramatically? Changing a few minor things here and there, that, that, that can be overlooked. That's acceptable. But even that, is not that necessary because this is an entire alternate universe. This is a rich universe. They have access to the video games and a crap ton of different tie-in comic stories to pull from. There are so many stories that precedes even the first game that came out. They could have used that. They could have really made this something special. Literally all they had to do was just take the pages and put it on screen. I don't get why this was so bad. And really, I, and when I say I don't I get why it's so bad, I know why it was so bad. But really what I'm saying, I don't get why, I don't get why they made the choices they made in this movie. First of all, I don't get why they made this movie. But second of all, I don't get why they made some of the choices they made. I know why it was so bad. One of the reasons is because uh, the changes they made in these were big changes. You cannot call your movie Injustice when you don't follow the storyline of Injustice. Like killing off major characters in your movie who never died in any of the games. Or changing the entire ending completely. It's like what is wrong with these people? In the film, Batman brought in a different Lois Lane from an alternate universe to talk some sense into Clark. And that worked. How touching, how fortuitous, how 
wrong. I'm sitting here like, did, did, did I imagine something different? Because I could have sworn it was the Justice League we, the audience, are more familiar with that came and stopped Superman in his reign. Like, how are you gonna tell a story about a story and not even follow the story? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, and, you know, don't get me wrong, the film had a few good moments here and there. It was cool to see uh, some of the contingency plans Batman had, but honestly, that's about it. Because <laughs> overall, this movie was a slap in the face of the Injustice universe. The craziest part about this whole thing is that this wasn't even necessary. There was no reason to make this movie. And you know, they're gonna come under fire for this because not only was the movie terrible, but it's almost as if the people who made this movie didn't even play the games because, like I said, things that happened in the games did not happen in the movies. And things that happened in the movies did not happen in the games. Like, some characters died. It's like, they, they never died. And it's like, all the backlash and negative comments and negative reviews about this movie, the crazy part about it is, they didn't even have to hear none of this because they didn't have to make this movie. It wasn't necessary. One out of ten, man. One out of ten. One out of ten. This is a flat L. This movie was very flat. Anytime something sad happened, whether it was Dick Grayson dying, no matter what it was, even Superman killing the Joker, everything just felt so flat. Whereas in the games, you can feel the heartbreak and betrayal these characters dealt with. It's devastating. Each one of them has suffered loss, not only within their personal lives, but within the Justice League. The Justice League is broken. It makes Captain America's Civil War look like a minor sibling rivalry. And it's, it's sad. And, and what's really sad is by, by number two, it's like things never get resolved. If anything, it's permanently damaged. Fighting on the same side, it felt like old times. But I guess we both knew it would end this way. Do you remember that night when you told me Lois was pregnant? You knew, even before I said anything. That was a good memory. From another lifetime. I miss the people we were then. Me too. Bruce, you can't win. You of all people know, Clark. I never quit. I love the this universe, the Injustice universe. It's it's a great storyline filled with great characters and such sad devastation. But this movie, it wasn't Injustice. It has some of the same elements to it, but I would not. This this is irrelevant to me. This is irrelevant. Wasn't even necessary again, but a huge disappointment, really. But let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.